hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16.4 beta 2 battery life and performance uh, in this week earlier i made a video on ios 16.4 beta 2 update size and the new features and talked about that and also in that video i said i would come back to you talking about the battery life and the performance so it's been a couple of days that i have used ios 16.4 beta 2 on both of this iphone 10r and iphone 12 so especially in this video we're going to take a look at couple of new features that i missed talking about in the initial video and also i'm going to give you the battery stats and whether the battery health has dropped or not on this iphone 12 along with the performance detail since this is my daily driver so i would be able to sort of give you a better idea and also in the later part of the video i would also be talking about when we can expect ios 16.4 public release and whether these updates are doing any good or you know resolving any bugs or not so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first so what I noticed, so this Wednesday morning, I actually made iOS 16.4 beta 2 video. After that, you know, we have got one more update. So I didn't tell you guys about the update. So it is, if you remember, it is returning from iOS 16.2 beta series. So iOS security response update. So it came in about, you know, very few megabytes. If you can see, I've already downloaded it. I just need to install it. Let's now see how much time it takes. If I click on install and put the passcode right here and it is going to install so I'm not going to fast forward the video or probably I will if it takes more time but I'll try to show you in the real time how much time it takes to install the security response files so let's talk about what is security response in the uh, time this gets installed on this iPhone 12 so these are basically you could say hot fix so hot fix is something which is not a fully update or fully reinstall the operating system things like that it is just a hot fix which will you know uh, include some of the security improvements or rather I should say the major security improvement which were necessary to be pushed in the previous update so that's the simple definition of this kind of hot fix and uh, by the time you know this gets installed as you can see this was you know pretty fast i mean this was within a minute i could say so this ios 16.4 you know response file was installed so now if i go to the settings let me show you if i go to the settings general and about section so as you can see it says ios 16.4 and the good thing with this kind of response file is that if you want you can remove the security response file i don't think so apple is gonna give this much of control to the public release of updates so that people can actually mess up with their updates if they want they can remove the security files they're not going to do it for production files or the public release these are only for the beta testing phases now since we have talked enough about this ios 16.4 security response file let's talk about some of the features that i missed talking about in the initial video of ios 16.4 beta 2 one thing i i couldn't mention that in the initial video that if you go to the general and about section the way ios 16.4 beta is released so there's a new coverage section it was there i know in the ios 16.4 beta 1 and if you see that this will list out all the devices that has been paired uh, in bluetooth or maybe in some other ways with this particular device so the same thing we could see in iphone 10r as well let me show you that if i go to the settings and if i go to the general and tap on about you can see that there is a coverage section it shows the device itself and all this device which have been earlier paired with this device and their you know warranty details as well so this section is a new section with ios 16.4 which you could expect with the public release now talking about one more thing i just wanted to show you i talked about this in the initial video but i couldn't show you because i didn't have the application installed there's this uh, you know new uh, page sliding animation which have been introduced with ios 16.4 beta 2 well it it is not new it was there before it was removed but now it is back so you know if you go to the next page as you can see there is a nice animation that you can see and it feels real so you know these have been added with ios 16.4 beta 2 if i go to the settings the same thing you can change from the setting itself if you go to the settings and come down to the books and if you go down and you can see that there is an option which says 
page turn animation so you can set it to side you can set it to curl and you can set it to none so these were a couple of features that i couldn't talk about in the initial video but glad that i have discovered and also have talked about in the final review of this ios 16.4 beta 2 now without further wasting any time let's talk about you know the battery life and the performance so first let's take a look at the battery life if i go to the general and click on the battery let me go there quickly and before we take a look at the battery graph let me click on battery health and charging so before updating the battery health was 88 percent and after updating you can see that it has been dropped sort of two percent i would say so right now the battery health is 86 percent so it's okay for iphone 12 i've been using iphone 12 now more than you know one and a half year i would say it is close to two years so for two year old device 86 percent battery life and the way i use the device it matters a lot i mean it is different for each and every person so in comment section you guys always talk about you know my battery health got you know decreased by one percent what would happen you know you know you get tensed a lot so if you are using your device well and with awareness and you know with proper charging cycle you know with two years of time 85 86 percent battery health is really good there's nothing to worry about that now let's take a look at the battery uh, graph itself so as you can see for last 24 hours if i could show you the screen on time is 8 hour 2 minutes and the screen off time is 1 hour 49 minutes and these are the application that took most of the battery life you can see that some of the personal applications and social media applications and um, things like that there's nothing extraordinary that took most of the battery life but indeed with beta softwares i don't you know i don't generally recommend beta softwares if you have only one primary phone so that's why the beta software's battery lives are not that great and especially with iphone 12 it, it doesn't you know give a better battery life if you have iphone 12 pro max or something max devices you can go and use the beta you wouldn't feel that much but with the regular sized iphone the beta means that the battery life would be a little bit what you can expect a little bit lower than that so if i talk about last 10 days you can see that average screen on time is 5 hour 14 minutes and the screen off time is 2 hour and 56 minutes now let's dive a little deeper so if i talk about yesterday so yesterday i've used my phone 100 percent even more than 100 percent and for that i've gotten a screen on time about 4 hour 48 minutes and screen off time about 1 hour 36 minutes day before that i have used my phone till 120 percent so then again these are the screen on and screen off times you might be thinking that this is for one charge cycle but that is not true i had to charge iphone 12 multiple times i had to charge more than once you know i generally have a habit of charging it at night and then when i usually wake up in the morning and then i usually generally use my phone for a couple of hours you know i play i don't play games but i do video calls a lot of office stuff happens over through microsoft teams and video call stuff like that and then you know regular use of iphones watching videos and things like that but at the afternoon or you know sort of in the evening time i had to put my phone again on the charge because the charge is down to 20 percent or between 15 to 20 percent so that has been sort of my experience with iphone 12 at least with ios 16.4 beta 2 and even it has been same with all the betas since i have installed ios 16 i would say now talking about the performance performance is good there is no issue with the performance one thing i would definitely say you know on both of these devices iphone 12 and iphone 10r i used to talk a lot about this you know swipe home bug so if you just do swipe home if you go any application and just do swipe home there always used to be a lag at least you know eight out of ten times there used to be a lag associated when you do swipe home many of you are aware about that and that issue has been completely resolved so with ios 16.4 beta 1 and even with beta 2 i did not face any such issues with that and also few of you were interested with Geekbench 5. So let me uh, see whether I can find that. As you can see, for single core score of with iPhone 12, obviously, I got 1567. And for multi-core score, I got 3834. These are the kind of, you know, Geekbench 5 scores for iPhone 12. Overall, there are no bugs and I did not face any performance issues. But if you ask me, if you were to install iOS 16.4 beta 2, I would say hold off you know because these are beta 2s and i don't expect a public release very soon probably we would get to see one more beta and after that ios 16.4 rc or the release candidate and probably at the end of march or first week of april we can get to see ios 16.4 
public release. So that's when you should install iOS 16.4 update on your iPhone. So then again, that's me talking about my experience with both of these phones on iOS 16.4 beta 2. So then again, that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section below whether you are a person who only runs on the you know stable series of updates or probably using iOS 16.3.1 like the way I'm using on my iPhone 13 over here or you are someone who like to test out the new features and always are excited for new beaters. So let me know that in the comment section below. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Then again, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. This gives me immense motivation to put out more content like this on YouTube. Now with that being said, I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.